workout in. I'm with my boy Mac Fit, and uh, we're about to get it in today. Uh, just working on Slash's obedience while I'm working out, and we're gonna be working about a collaboration that we're working on with dogs and workouts. So I look out for that. My boy Mac, he has his dog Flex, Golden Doodle, and uh, basically working on some socialization issues. Uh, Flex doesn't like men. I saw your dog was in the gym right by your side, um, wasn't moving around or anything while you were working out. I would like to have Flex do that and not have to crate him inside the room in the gym. Have him just right by me, chilling. Well, one good thing is Mac is a serious personal trainer, so he understands the power of discipline and repetition. But mm -hmm. now we're going to add the ingredients in for the socialization, because right now he's got some decent obedience that allows us to move a lot faster through the system. But we're going to work on the socialization, agility, and a lot more confidence building. Yeah, or well, say less, my boy. I got you. Let's do it. All right, so, all right, so go ahead and break and play. Right. Let's get him up on the box, and let's work on that down and walking around. Keeping him engaged. That engagement kind of keeps his mind occupied. It keeps him in sit. a dopamine state. So now bring him in the sit. Just keep him on focus while I come by. Foos. Good, keep him in the guy. There you go. So you see how he's a little timid in new things? So the box is going to teach him to tolerate fui and not be able to be uh, run and be all scary. Good. Good. Good, now so you need to, yeah, that's it. So, so the best thing you can do when he's nervous is support him. Good boy, you're OK. Good boy. OK, take him up here again. How you doing? Hey. What's going on? Man. Trying to get Kobe under control. How's he doing? He's doing good. Very obedient. The training was amazing. Okay. He's taking all the commands. We do our drills in the park. Um, but it's just the dog on dog thing. He he's very um, uh, stimulated from dogs. I, he charges them. He goes after them. He's it's a lot of energy. Just, I'm dealing with a high energy aggressive energy, not not mean aggressive, but just playful and he wants to charge every dog. Right, so in, in dog temperament, we call that vigor and that vigor is intensity. You know, you can go get the bar, you can charge through the ball and go grab the ball and dang near put a dent in the ground. You see yeah. what I mean? So the whole goal is, is to give him these proper outlets and then understand how you need to redirect him when he gets fired up like that and also <laughs> how to correct him. Foos. Okay. Plots. Corrections, right. Yeah, plots. Good. So see how he's all yeah. over my dog? He's, so that's he's... all dominant energy, yeah. right? And when you have that dominant energy, right, you just got to be able to bring him back. Plots. Good. No. Good. Heel. Good boy, Kobe. Sit down. Good. So you kick him in his obedience. The dog needs to just respond to that one command. And if you say it, and it, nope, you start, you start begging the dog to do things. Now the dog is going to start saying, oh, he don't really respect it, right? Okay, break. Good boys. Good. And I just praise him, right? So, so see how he's biting. And he's, for him, he's just being a little bit, you know, he's being dominant, right? So you got to know, and you got to manage his play, right? Right? So I got Slash here. I got Kobe here. No. Right? So he doesn't need to do that. Right? Good. Yeah. Good. Nope. Good. Sit. Good. Come. Sit. Come. Sit. Come. Sit. Down. Good. Down. And now we're going to take it outside where we have foreign distractions. So somewhere he's not familiar with. We'll see maybe some random dogs that give us a different kind of energy. And then we'll work on the same behaviors. Perfect. All right. Let's do it. Here. So today we're going to be shooting some content with the Halo Collar. We've got the lovely Seda here, and she is the content manager for Halo Collar, so we're going to be doing that. Um, got some cool videos. Uh, one of our videos did really well, so we're going to reshoot that and take it from vertical to horizontal so we can utilize it for advertising and just uh, get some good content in for the day. Yes, what he said. Tell me about your love for training and what made you get into it. 
Well, my love for training started when I was a very little boy. I wasn't really the Tom Sawyer type of kid who read those kind of books. I was really intrigued by animals, dogs, horses, cats. And what ended up happening is uh, my mom would start to let me bring animals home. And uh, I just would keep piling them up, <laughs> you know. And uh, it was just always a passion of mine. Uh, when I was in uh, about high school, I lost a pit bull that I had named Sinbad because of his temperament and his dog aggression. And from that time, I was really adamant about learning how to reverse that kind of behavior in dogs. And I was able to you know, work with several mentors and they taught me the ropes front to back about dog temperament. I got into working with working dogs and uh, police style dogs and learned about those kind of dogs. So then at that point, I was able to control even the most outgoing, fierce dog. It's just been a journey. I am very passionate about helping people and helping dogs and we're just moving forward every day trying to uh, help as many dogs as we can. We got a dog right here, perfect. Good. Good, so, good. just no, keep walking. Good. No. No, Kobe. Good. That dog is bringing that energy. Right? All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna try that. Try to we're gonna find another dog. Get him, get him engaged. Go. We're gonna pass by. Good, good. Okay, he's just saying hi. Good. So see, he doesn't want any smoke. He just, he just excited to see him. But see, he wants to hit the end. Of, he wants to do what he wants to do. You know. Okay. Now heal him and break him. Take him away from him. break. And then come back past the dog real quick. Come back. Okay. Good. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on, motivate. Good break. Appreciated my dog. All right. There it is. So see, he doesn't have to charge a dog. He doesn't have to do that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I feel like a proud mom. Uh, that's good, that's good. Can you train every dog? I can train every dog. The key is finding the balance. So we have the overzealous dog able to have the control of an impulse, and we have the nervous dog confident. So Halo Collar makes training a lot easier. Number one, because I can use the vibrator function to create constant contact with the dog. I can also have the speaker that allows me to issue commands from a distance with the dog. I can also create the wireless fence that allows us to train within a perimeter and my dog not run past the perimeter. And if my dog does get lost, I can always find him with the GPS feature. When I'm introducing something new, I don't make them deal with it for too long. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like you work, like you're holding a plank, right? Someone don't got no strength. You don't want someone to lose confidence. Like, okay, I can't do it. You mm -hmm. got to say, okay, five seconds, that's enough. Yeah. All right, now let's try ten seconds this time. You know yeah. what I mean? You kind of build them up, and then they get confidence in their head that they can actually do it. I like that. I'm gonna use that on you. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now just walk him in there. Walk him in there, nice and short leash, so he doesn't have to have the option to jump out. Just make that the only option. There you go, big guy. There you go, big guy. Yeah, okay, break and play. Let's do that five times, or three times, at least just to show him, hey, this box is not gonna eat you. That's it. Come. There it is, now sit. Good, now break. This is my emotional support animal. He's my everything. I'm a trainer as well, so I know how much it takes to be disciplined and how much hard work it takes to really um, train someone in general. I've seen, I've seen progress already. It's only been two days. Today's the second day and I've seen a little progress already and I'm, I'm excited. Hey guys, today we're gonna be working with Halo Collar. I have it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on Slash. Oh boy. And today we're gonna to be incorporating the whistle feature. And the whistle feature is gonna be what we teach the dog to come back and come get rewarded. So we condition the dog to the whistle to come get rewarded. So when the dog approaches the fence, you'll hear the whistle and know to turn around to come back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my phone, pull up the Halo app. I'm gonna go ahead and start utilizing the whistle button. And when he hears the whistle, I'm gonna reward him for the whistle. All right, so how'd you feel about today's shoot? 
it's good. We got everything we needed. I'm gonna go back and edit everything. I will send it to you prior to sending it to the company just so you can approve it and make sure you like what it looks like. All right, cool. Let's keep it going. All right. So far, training has been um, probably one of the best things Kobe will ever experience. Um, to start off so young um, with this kind of discipline and this kind of um, obedience training will be amazing for his growth. I already see the difference in him. The most valuable for me is, is the training for me. <laughs> you know, working with him one-on-one um, -on -one and working with um, Jazz, it really instills and like, you know, kind of puts it in to his, to his, uh, his daily life. So I, I feel like this is the best part of the training. He never kisses me, he only does this. I love it. 